Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Bite Size Mods. Today we're looking at the wireless supply system. So how all this works is, to my system, which we created last time, I've now connected two ender chests with their own colour codes. This one's green and that one's white. And I have in my inventory one green pouch and one white pouch. My white ender chest has a remote orderer pipe to it, so I can request stuff and it will go to this one. My green chest is connected to a pump. So what this will do is stuff that goes in here will be pumped out and entered back into the system. Now also what I've got here is a chunk loader. And the reason you need this is when you're off mining in either the nether or just really far away, your, the system that your chunk is sitting in will deload. So your remote orderer will not work if you are outside the area. So if you place one of these chunk loaders down, right click it, or click show lasers, then you can see that the lasers area is covering all of our system. So no matter how far out I go, this will always stay loaded. We'll head off in this direction. Okay, I've flown out quite far, so normally the chunk that the uh, system is sitting in would have despawned by now, but as I've left the chunk loader there, I can right click and I can still request stuff that is in the system. So if I right click, say I want a wrench, I want one wrench, request, it will go to the white ender pouch, and boom, there it is, one wrench. My inventory is now full up and I cannot carry any more stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna be digging some more, digging more dirt and my inventory is filling up. What you can do is go to your ender pouch, right click it, and you can actually put stuff in. As you can see, it's starting to send it into the system. And if I get out my remote orderer, there it is, it's already starting to fill up. And that will keep going until this chest is empty. And then once the chest is empty, you can keep putting more stuff in there. And this works in other dimensions as well. So you, as I say, you can go to the nether and it will still work. Now, how do we make these items? So for the ender chest, four blaze rods, one ender pearl, one normal chest, two obsidian, and one wool. Now, to, as you can see, I've got two different types. I had a white one and a green one. If you dye your wool different colours, you can set different coloured combinations for your ender chest. And then for the pouches, it's four blaze powder, three leather, one ender pearl, and one coloured wool. And once again, you need the same colour for your ender pouches to link. So the green one obviously links to the green chest, the white one links to the white chest. And to make a chunk loader requires one enchantment table, five pieces of gold and one ender pearl. Okay, that's it for this little video. If you enjoyed, please let me know in the comments, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, as always, please leave a comment and I will answer it for you. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.